how to drag the page in PHP in one second. Of course, the execution is always faster than the explanation. What is redirection in PHP? Firstly, this really like the anchor tag in HTML, the A with the href, in which the user wants to go somewhere, so he just looks on the navigation bar or something like that and clicks and goes. The redirect is a little bit different, not more complex, but more programmatic. The user, instead of choosing when he wants to do something, a condition needs to be met. As an example, because if you don't use any conditions in your redirection, the user is going to enter in this page the HTML, the JavaScript, the CSS, anything can be loaded. But once the PHP piece of code of the redirect is loaded, it is going to be redirected instantly, automatically. So let's firstly check the syntax of this piece of code that makes the redirect. You are going to open your PHP tag, right? And if you want, you can also close it. And then you are going to call to forward the header function. And you put the parentheses because it's a function and double quotes location. Now you need to put columns and now you put the name of the file. Of course, you need to also put the file extension. And there we go. Now if I come here to the page in question, I'm in home. If I come here to the index.php, I will be redirected instantly to the home. Now, where should you use it? One really good way of using it is when you are manipulating, when you are working with identity authentication. As an example, not when you are logging in, but when you are logging out, or when the user forgets the password, when he tries too many times the wrong password, or even when you want to make something special. Let's jump to demonstration. In here I have a login, a pretty simple login layout that I stole from somewhere. Let me show you the page, how it's loaded. It doesn't have any CSS, only the necessary for the centering, you know? Then it has two inputs and a submit. This title and this anchor is just for reference sake. But if you really want to make a login in PHP, check the cards in the description. Then the first thing that you need to do is coming here to the inputs and you can put the name, the name of the parameter. In this case it could be username and the other one can also really be the password. Now since we already have these two parameters, you can choose the action and the method. I will be leaving the action really blank so it, we get to the same page. And the method I'm going to keep post since we are using chump with the PHP and all, the post is a little bit better. Now we are going to come here to the top of the index and we are going to try to access the values you see, the values of little buddies here, the inputs. So let's get the dollar sign underscore post, strict brackets, double quotes, then username, and there we go. Now we are already calling the value, but we also need to echo it the, to print it. Now we are going to use shift alt dot error and copy this password here to check the both. Now if you load the page, we are going to receive an error or two because they often find the array keys because we don't have it defined. So let me just come here and define them, okay? Now we are already seeing this. If I change for username and the password for password, you can already see pretty clearly that it's good. Now, another thing that we should do is trying to make it work somehow. First thing that people usually do when working with these parameters here from the forms it's checking if they are set, because this way it is not going to give this error of not defined array keys. Let's go, the username, post, double quotes, then this, then yes, come here, copy this, all, paste again, and now we are already verifying if the both are set. But another thing that's really useful is that if they are not both correct, in this case, at least not empty, we cannot go to the next page. So we are going to make a condition again, but instead of checking if they are set, we are going to check if they are different from empty. Let's go, let's go. There we go. And now inside of this, we should finally use the header to redirect the user to the place where we want them to, the home. Now if we come here and reload the page, now you can log in, but we don't go. We don't go. You can't put the username, but it. You can't put the username, but it. Yes, it's a, it's because of the password. Password. Okay, let's go back. Reload. If I put the username, 
it doesn't go. But if I put the password, it doesn't go as well. If I don't put anything, obviously not. But if I put the both, it is going to be redirected at home. Then you can also make another fast condition, which is if uh, not, in this case, if it is not mm, the else, we can now make another condition or an else condition. Instead of put an else if, we can simply put the else in the case that this doesn't happen, in the case that one, at least one of them are empty, or even the both of them, we are going to echo, even better than echo, we are going to assign a variable called login error, and we are going to say that it is like login in incorrect login. Now, how do we get this text here in here in the HTML? Before anything else, we need to put here the variable and assign it as empty because of the way it is going to give us an error of undefined variable if it doesn't get an error. We are going to put it here in the P. We are going to put it red firstly because errors need to be red. That's common knowledge. And then you put here the PHP tag and echo the variable. With this, we can come here, reload and incorrect login, of course. Now we submit incorrect login. Password, incorrect login. Anything at all, even more incorrect. But if you put both, it goes again. So in this video, you've learned the difference between the anchor tag and the redirect in PHP. If you also want to make the redirect in HTML, click in this video right there because I already have made one. I'm Bill Vegas and I'll see you in the next video.